Good morning, my name is Julie from So Unique and welcome to week three of my February vlogs. Um, I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. I am most active on Instagram and I have a little Etsy shop where I sell project bags, commercial sock yarn, um, handmade stitch markers, badges, pins, all kinds of things like that. Um, we do do a lot of handmade Fimo stitch markers, which Adele, my daughter, she designs them for me. Uh, so yes, welcome. And what am I doing today? Well, we should have been going out to York today, but as we've got another storm coming, uh, Storm Dennis, I think it is, um, with all the rain and the wind, we decided not to go. We're going to save that for another day. So I don't know if you can hear in the background the noise, but that's a bit of the rain and the wind outside. So I'm not really doing a great deal today. I'm going to have a lazy day at home. Uh, don't have any housework to do as such. I need to um, tidy the kitchen up. Uh, I think I'm going to make a orange cake this weekend and do some bread uh, and just see what else I can do but I did buy some orange extract uh, for the orange cake because if you've watched my previous vlogs I think they were it was in um, December I made an orange cake and it didn't really taste of orange so I was a bit disappointed Oh yes, somebody suggested, thank you very much, for that orange extract, which I got some, so I'm going to have a go at that. Uh, I want to do some more work on my snuggle down cowl. I'm just about to put the third colour in, thoroughly enjoying knitting it, it's a really nice knit. Um, what else am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to do a little bit more work on my hexes. So, if you've watched Last week's vlog, you'll see I started making some hexagons with English paper piecing. So hopefully this week, by Saturday, I might have got it finished. So we might have a finished finished project at the end of the week. But obviously, I'm not promising. I've had problems with my hands this week. I don't know if it's just a lot of hand sewing, a lot of knitting. Oh, I've just been aching a lot, and my wrists have been a bit. Bit sore, so I'm having a little bit of a, a break from hand sewing this week. So, um, like I said, the hexes might not get done this week, but we'll see. I'll do my best. Uh, I'm not really sure what else I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a fluffy coffee now. A double chop mocha, my favourite. What are you doing in my box, you cheeky boy? it's Monday and <laughs> I'm not at work today and it's also half term so I'm looking after my little helper uh, from nine till one today uh, yes yeah, so I've actually come back home now I've done that and while he was sort of playing games with his friends um, I did a bit of sewing so I've sort of got that far on one of my panels and what I did this morning while he was playing was uh, I did a, I did the centre so I think what I'm going to do today is try and work a little bit more on the hexagons 
because I would actually like to have this project finished this week. <laughs> we shall see anyhow. Uh, then we decided that uh, we'd go down to Tesco, so that was a nice walk, a bit of fresh air for him. Um, I needed some baking powder for waffles. So I made some waffles yesterday and I ended up having to use, oh, what did I use now? I forgot what it was, that no, wasn't baking, I had run out of baking powder. And the case is okay, but they, they wouldn't just puffy. So yes, I had to go and get that sorted. And as we were walking down, we passed through um, near the church and the beautiful crocuses and things like that. So I'll put a little clip in of that. helper wanted to buy some cornflower because they've been having science experiments at school and he wanted to try them at home so I'll put a little clip in of that next of what he was making I think he said it was called uber or something but yeah he enjoyed himself uh, what else have we done there wasn't really much else. Uh, yeah, so I said I did that bit of sewing. Um, I would like to continue with this, these hexagons. Uh, I want to try and get this panel finished this week and uh, see if I can make a bag of it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll catch you a bit later on. <laughs> Morning. Well, it's Wednesday and I thought I'd better pop on because filming content this week is not very good, I'm afraid. I can see I'm going to be a bit light at the end of the week. Um, the weather here has been really bad. The lighting has been awful. Um, I mean, the other night, I think it was Sunday, we'd got Sunday evening, we'd got wind, rain, no, not rain. Hail, thunder and lightning all in one go. And poor old Charlie was outside. He wouldn't come in, would they? So <laughs> everybody's trying to look for him. And our front door sort of blew open because they'd left it on the latch. And within seconds, my hallway was full of hailstones. It was that bad. It was really bad. So it's no wonder he took to hiding because he was... <laughs> I was scared, poor little thing, but he came in, he came in, he was absolutely saturated, but we got him dried off and he, he went off, had something to eat and <clears throat> then went to bed. But uh, no, the weekend, apart from that, I, I, you know, I didn't really do anything. I had a very lazy weekend. <laughs> I just sat and knitted, especially Saturday. I don't know, I think sometimes at the end of the week, because I don't go to bed exactly early. It catches up with me, so of a lazy weekend, which I'm not complaining about. But yes, I knitted, so um, I'm doing quite well on my um, snuggle down cowl. Um, I did a little bit of knitting on it last night, and I'm on the final colour. So hopefully by the end of the week, it will all be done. 
after I have put a finished object to show you. And I've been um, doing the English paper piece in. That is time, quite time consuming. Uh, you, f you forget, I mean I haven't done any English paper piecing for oh god many years really and you just forget how time consuming it really is and oh, it's really taken its toll on my hands because obviously knitting and then hand sewing and oh, yeah everything anyhow i thought i'd show you how far i've got i've actually finished both panels now i know it might look an odd shape at the minute um but i think be okay by the time i've done i've got an idea in my head how i want it to turn out i've never actually made a bag with english paper piecing before especially with hexes um so this is a <laughs> so this could all go horribly wrong um but in my head i can see how this how the two panels are going to fit what the bottom's going to be like, what the top's going to be like, but in reality it could be a disaster. So whatever happens, obviously I will share. <laughs> oh dear, but yeah, both panels are just well, the second panel is nearly I'll, I can finish it off this morning, that last little bit. Um and then I can take it home and uh, get the uh, paper out of the back and get it pressed and then start measuring up and because I want to put a bottom piece on it so I say, we'll see we'll see how it goes anyhow uh, plans for today I haven't really got well I've got a few plans I've got sewing to do today and um, I've just been to the post office because I packed up quite a few Etsy orders yesterday but I didn't have time to go to the post office when I finished work because this week it's half term here in the UK and my little helper's off and everybody obviously is still working so I've been doing a bit of child minding, shared child minding so it's been it's like four days this week so I'm sort of carrying me sewing around with me and knitting around with me just, just every time I get 10 minutes on sit and do something while while he's playing and doing whatever he's doing um so yeah I'm gonna do some baking with him uh, I don't know whether it'll be today or tomorrow but we're gonna make jam tarts and probably do a chocolate cake because he likes his chocolate cake uh but yeah other than that, I don't really know what else I'm doing today, but like I say, it's sewing. All, all I'm doing is sewing today and it's a bit of knitting. I think if I can sort of plan now just to do so many rows for the next couple of days on my snuggle down cowl, I will have it finished then. So I can do the last little bit of filming on it on Friday and then uh, well, at least I'll have something to share with you. <laughs> I'll see you a bit later on. Morning, well I'm in the shop today and I've got an order to pack up uh, and then I'm going to be doing a bit of sewing so. but it's still the, the, the English paper piece yeah, but I'm, I'm nearly there now <laughs> not much more to go I seem to spend my days looking a bit 
<laughs> wind swept because yet again it's raining and windy this morning and I didn't have an umbrella at home and my uh, black coat that I've been wearing to work just lets the water through <laughs> Oh, I'll be glad when the spring's here and we've got a bit of nice weather. Anyhow, I'm just having a sit down for maybe half an hour. Cup of Yorkshire tea. Um, I've got a little cat bag and I am working on my cowl. It's nearly finished. This is the last colour didn't get any done last night at all uh, I've got time I went to my sewing room I've got all my sewing done that I needed to do last night which was really good and then I thought I'd better start editing some of the video for this one all that squeaking that you can hear is the shop next door all our doors squeak <laughs> Mine's probably even worse, but I won't oil it because when I'm in the other side, when I'm in the vault side, at least I can hear when people come in and out of the shop. So nobody else has oiled theirs neither, so it's trouble it picks up on camera, which is not really what you want. But never mind. Anyhow, back to this. <laughs> Sidetracking myself. I'm on uh, colour seven now. It's I love the way it's looking. It is so delicate. I mean, when you look at the the balls of yarn that you've got, the like this is the last colour. It's quite a strong colour, but when you put the floof with it, it like changes really subtle. So this has been a really lovely knit. It feels so nice. I can't wait to finish it so I can wear it. Um, all being well, we might be going to York on Saturday, weather permitting just depends because it's a bit miserable at the minute but you know you still got to go out haven't you so I'd like to actually take the cowl with me Saturday so I've got to get a wriggle on so I'm on one, one more pattern repeat which is about what 14 rows 14 rows altogether so I'm going to do a bit now And I've just made tea tonight. This is probably the first time I've actually cooked tea from scratch this week. <laughs> um, we've got some um, veggie casserole tonight and it's basically just got potatoes, onion, celery, mushrooms, garlic, seasoning, what else have we got in there? Carrots. I think that's probably about it really. Um, I'm going to have dumplings tonight. Um, but I will take some out for Adele because she doesn't have dumplings because I don't think these are vegetarian. I will have to check. And we've got some um, garlic garlic stuffing and I've put some chestnuts in because I had these two left over from Christmas so I thought I'd better use them while they're still in date. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're having. Now we baked a chocolate cake today. My little help was here, so we managed to get the cake baked and he's just been picked up. So he's taken um, the chocolate bits and the butter, cocoa powder and things like that at home. So when it's all cooled down, maybe later on this evening or even tomorrow, he can finish it off with his mum. So that'll be nice. We didn't really have a lot of time today. 
by the time I'd finished work and went and picked him up it's like time's just flown by uh, yeah so yeah it's been a funny week this week I seem to have been busy 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 all week but I feel like I've not achieved much so it's really strange <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like I've got a lot of content actually this week. Oh, I'll move my chair in a bit. Um, oh, that's better. Uh, yeah, I think because like, I could be working on this snuggle down cowl and we are getting you know, quite close to finishing. I managed to get a little bit uh, done at the shop today. Um, maybe half a dozen rows, I think that's all I managed. And then I had to do a little bit more on my hexes and I think that's the trouble because I've been only working on two things this week it seems to have taken up a lot of time I think doing this hexy bag has taken up more time than I thought it would go, would be would go into um so I don't think I'm doing another one mind you looking at the the panel I mean I've made two panels and it would look really nice as a quilt, really nice, but I don't think I could be bothered doing it by hand, to be honest. So I'm just watching Tabby is in the kitchen, just pottering around. Uh, and obviously when, I thought I'd finished this morning, so when I, I sort of laid the two pieces out and sort of tried to decide about the construction of the bag, I decided that I needed a few more hexes. <laughs> I had to do another five, so I've still got that to do. And unless I am extremely lucky, there's, there's, I don't think I'm going to get this done this week, which is a shame because I really wanted to get it done and finished. So I've got something to show you, but it's probably going to go into next week. Trouble is, I've got other things to do, and it's so it's really eating into my time. This bag, <laughs> but. I think it's going to look nice when it's done. Yeah. Yes, and what else have I been doing? And of course, I've, I have been packing Etsy orders this week. And I must admit, they take me quite a lot of time to pack up. You know, I'm not at the shops or today towers or anything like that, but my time just flies by. <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing. So I've had a lot of running around to the post office. I mean, it's a good job it's sort of five minutes walk away from where I work so that's okay um, but I haven't really done a great deal of filming this week um, so I'm afraid I think it's going to be a bit of a short vlog but hopefully I'll do better next week <laughs> oh dear get on for some new things because I'm trying to plan um, what we're doing for next month because as you know it's Beatrix Potter month next month and I've been trying to get sort of half an hour to sort out the fabrics to actually put in my Etsy shop and I just, I just can't do it <laughs> it's just been no time at all so I think that has definitely got to be first job for next week is sort these fabrics out and the trouble is as well I mean the lighting I've got down at work is actually nearly quite daylight it's, yeah but some of these colours because they're like greys, grey blues sort of bluey greens and they're not coming up nice in the photograph so I might have to either bring them home and see if I can do them um, in natural daylight in the conservatory here or maybe go and see if I can get some stock photos off my supplier's website but we'll see anyhow yes I've got something else that I'm going to share with you as well now as you know Adele does a lot of artwork and things for some of our products well she's been working on a new bunny that's going to be released I hope next month I'm not sure when because we've got to get um, the artwork sent off to where we get our little bits and pieces made up and I'm not sure what we're going to make 
with this design, whether it's going through badges or what, but it is so cute. It's a bunny. And it's absolutely adorable. It really is. It's very similar to my little helper's bunny because it's the same colour but it's not uh, a lop. It hasn't got floppy ears. It's His ears are up I think or her ears are up. But Adele's drawn this beautiful bunny and other bits and pieces around it and I'm going to put a clip in now of her process of the painting and whatever she's drawn. I haven't actually watched this clip yet but uh, Yes, I thought it might be of interest to people that are into sort of art and just to see a process of how uh, the design comes together for us. Well, good morning. It's Friday and as usual, it's raining, it's windy, it's cold. <laughs> so I'm actually at home today. I've not got any sewing on this morning. So I am making my the most of my day at home. Um, I've had my cup of Yorkshire tea, so I'm ready to go now. <laughs> uh, I need to tidy the kitchen. I want to put some bread on. I want to do my orange cake, I want to make some soup for lunchtime and I want to prepare tonight's tea which I think we're going to have sausage casserole and I've got sausages I just need to sort of check on the veggies that we've got and then I'm going to go and sew. I want to make a start on the applique bunnies uh, for the pre-orders so I need to yeah, get a wiggle on really because um, it'll take a while to do so that's uh, that's really what I want to do today um, as you can see I am wearing my snuggle down cowl it's absolutely gorgeous it feels so cosy it's absolutely wonderful I will definitely be making more of these I've got another set of yarn and some more floof at the red day. I'm not going to do it now though. I'm going to give my fingers a break from knitting for a little bit because 
want to get on with some sewing. I've missed doing my sewing. But no, I love it. All I need to do is weave in the ends. And then it just needs blocking, really. But that's it. But it's fabulous. This is going to be brilliant under my coat. Because when I, I was when I'd finished this, I'm thinking, oh, how am I going to get that over my head? <laughs> but it does. It's a nice fitting cowl. It's lovely. I mean, because with all this wind that we've got at the minute, this is going to be perfect under my jacket. So, yeah, this is brilliant. Lovely pattern as well. I have made three mistakes in it, though. Mm. Not concentrating. On the, you can't actually see it, but you can see this pattern in here. I missed one of the pattern rows out, which is up under here somewhere. And on two rows, I missed a stitch on the pattern. I can't really tell you what it is because it's a page four pattern, but nobody's going to see it. There's only me that knows, obviously you now. But uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Brilliant. Well, this is the state of my kitchen this morning. You won't think it could get into such a mess with four adults in the house, but it does. And there's Elsa. So this is sort of my first job, get this area tidied, then I can get cracking on the uh, baking. Well, I'm just having five minutes to sit down. I've got a nice cup of Yorkshire tea and I'm just having a little tiny piece of the orange cake and it actually tastes really nice. And <coughs> I had a bit of a disaster with the orange extract bar. Uh, on the bottle it said, what was it? Was it in the bottle? I can't remember if it was on the bottle or in the recipe. And it said, use a teaspoonful of extract um, to the equivalent of <laughs> so much of the le um, orange to put in the cake. So I put some in, mixed it up, couldn't taste anything. So I put a bit more in and I thought well I don't put too much in because uh, it, it was quite strong. It got a bit of a bittery taste to it on the bottle. So I just guessed. It actually tastes really nice, really pleased with it. Definitely, um, I'm going to have to buy some more though, because when I was mixing the ice in, I put some in, and it told you how much to put in, 
and I mix the icing up. Well, if you can hear that noise in the background, that's the bed machine on. Um, it won't mix, it won't mix at all. So I put a bit of water in and put some more orange extract in, which I shouldn't have done because it tasted awful. <laughs> so I had to chug it away and start again. So um, it was just trial and error really. But it has actually turned out okay, so I'm really pleased with it. So I am definitely going to get more extract and probably get a lemon extract as well. And yeah, make some more. Definitely. It's quite a firm cake as well. It's not soft and squishy. Which, uh, I, yeah, I'm not a cake lover, but uh, I'll definitely have some more of this. It's really nice. Oh, I think I need a cup of tea now for all that. I mean, it's what? half three now and I've been in the kitchen practically all morning it took me a little while to clean up this morning obviously then I made the cake uh, made some soup soup was really nice it's been quite a while since we've had it made with coconut milk uh, Adele used to make it with coconut last year and I've completely forgotten about that and I thought oh I'll try some myself and it was quite thin if you seen the clips it looks quite thin but it actually by the time we come to eat it, it it wasn't that thin actually it was okay it was nice very tasty um definitely going to make it with coconut milk again i've just got to remember <laughs> um yeah the bread's cooking away it's got another couple of hours to go the sausage casserole's cooking away merrily in the oven so that's tonight's tea so I'm just going to finish this cup of tea and my little bit of cake and then I'm off to my sewing room and that's where I'm going to be because, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get some bunnies applique onto my bags and that's it. And then I'll probably just go and settle down and, I don't know, maybe do some knitting, watch telly, we'll see. Just depends. I might not. I might stop in the in my sewing room and do more work. <coughs> oh, I've got a cough. I've got a dry throat today. I'm afraid. Um. Right. Um. There is going to be a giveaway because obviously we are coming up to the end of the month. So I'm going to do a separate video after this and we're going to announce what we are going to give away and then the winner will be announced uh, it'll, be, well, it'll be next saturday for you but it'll be friday for me so there'll be a cut off point sort of i'll say friday friday lunch time uh yes so i'll explain all about that in the next little video so I'm going to call it a day now because most of the editing of this video is done and I know it takes several hours for it to export. Last week it took seven hours which was a long time. So I'm just going to go and uh, do finish this off now then I can go and sew which is going to be brilliant. <laughs> so I'd just like to say thank you very much for joining me this week. Um, hello and welcome to any new subscribers i've noticed the numbers have gone up a little bit so it's uh, lovely to have your company and i will see you again soon bye for now